Here I am with another example of delta and y transformation. In this video I will show you how to solve this example for calculating total resistance or equivalent resistance RT in case of this circuit. See here if you look at this circuit this this type of circuit is known as bridge, bridge type structure because this looks like wheat stone bridge. Now if you see that this circuit contains two delta circuit separately. If you see you will see that there is a delta in the lower portion and there is a delta in upper portion. That means I have to multi that means I have to perform delta to Y conversion in in case of either this delta or this delta to calculate the total resistance R T in this circuit. Now let's say I apply Y transformation in the this delta circuit. If I place a if I convert this delta into a into Y I will get three resistances that will be connected between these two this terminal this terminal and these terminals. Okay, now let's say this is our R P. If I want to calculate R P in this circuit, I will take the multiply. Mul I will multiply these two adjacent resistors. That means I will multiply 30 and 40 and divide their multiplication with the sum of these three. Therefore, our R P. R P will be equal to 30 into 40 divided by divided by the sum of the resistance of this delta circuit 30 plus 50 plus 40 so which will be equal to 10 ohm now this will be our rq if i want to calculate rq in this circuit i will take the two adjacent resistors and multiply them and divide them with the sum of the delta branch resistances that means rq will be equal to 30 into 50 divided by 30 plus 40 plus 50 which will be equal to 12.5 ohm now this is our third resistance rr i will multiply if i want to convert this delta into y i will multiply these two adjacent resistors 40 into 50 divided by the sum of individual resistances 30 plus 40 plus 50 so RR will be equal to 16.67 ohm that means if I if I convert the delta circuit into Y circuit with respect to these three terminals we will get three resistances this will be RR which is equal to 10 ohm this is RQ which is equal to 12.5 ohm and this is our R sorry this is our RQ and this is our RR which is equal to 16.67 ohm now if I want to calculate RT look at this this terminal and this terminal you will see that this 10 20 ohm and this 10 ohm re resistances are connected in series which will be equal to 30 ohm and this 10 ohm and this 12.5 ohm resistances are connected in series which will be equal to 22.5 ohm after that this 22.5 and this 30 ohm resistances will be in parallel and their parallel will be in series with this 6 ohm and this 16.67 ohm which i have written here at first i will add this 20 and this 10 as they are in series then i will get 30 i after that i will add this 10 and this 12.5 i will get 22.5 this 30 and this 22.5 resistances are connected in parallel and their equivalent parallel resistance will be equal to 12.93 then I will add them then this 12.93 will be in series with this 6 ohm and this 16.67 ohm that means I will add them up 6 plus 12.93 plus 16.67 therefore our total resistance RT will be equal to 35.6 ohm